In this cup, there is a block of zero degrees Celsius ice floating in zero degrees Celsius water. As the ice melts and the temperature stays at zero degrees Celsius, does the liquid level go up, down, or stay the same? The block of ice stays at rest, so the acceleration is zero. So if you draw the force diagram for the ice, you would have mg of the ice going down and the buoyant force from the water going up. And because acceleration is zero, that means the upward force equals to the downward force. And according to the Archimedes principle, the buoyant force is the weight of the displaced fluid, so it is the mass of the displaced fluid times g equals to the mg of the ice. So we can cancel the g's. And we know that the ice is going to melt into pure water, and it is going to melt into water of the same mass, which means this mass of ice is going to melt into mass of water that equals to the displaced fluid. The displaced fluid is water, so this much ice is going to melt into exactly that much water. So the block of ice will melt into this much water exactly. Therefore, the water level will the, stay the same. What if it's uh, zero degrees Celsius ice in zero degrees Celsius sugar water? Sugar water is denser than pure water. As the ice melts and the temperature stays at zero degrees Celsius, will the liquid level go up, down, or stay the same? Again, the ice is staying at rest so the upward buoyant force must equal to the downward mg. And so the buoyant force still equals to the downward mg of the ice. The buoyant force is the weight of the displaced fluid, and I'm just going to cancel the g's on both sides, so the mass of the displaced fluid would equal to the mass of the ice cube. And this ice is going to melt into same mass water. And this mass of the displaced fluid is the same mass sugar water. This ice melts into the same mass water, but the water is not as dense as the sugar water. So this same mass water is going to occupy more volume than the same mass sugar water. Therefore, the water level will go up.